Hey guys, good afternoon. Long time no see, but welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. I haven't posted anything in like the last two and a half months, but there are actually a few new subscribers. So if you're watching this right now, hi, hello, my name is Abby, nice to meet you. I hope you stick around and thank you for subscribing, even though I haven't posted anything in the last two months. I'm glad you're here and I hope you stick around. In today's video, this is actually going to be just a little productive few days in my life because there are a lot of things that I need to do before I go to Adelaide on Friday. Friday until Sunday, it's my dad's birthday and also Anita's wedding on Saturday, which I'm super excited about. So I thought, yeah, you know, it's a good time to start vlogging again. Today is Wednesday. It is currently 5.05 .05 in the afternoon. I finished work at 3.30, already went and got my nails done. I got darker blue this time, which is like very different because I usually go for light colors but today I got dark blue because I thought it would match the dress that hopefully I'll be wearing on Anita's wedding I have it right here I haven't opened it I literally just picked it up at the post office but before I open that I thought I would just go through the to-do list that I made last night so in the next few days I need to get my nails and brows done although I already got my nails done I didn't get my eyebrows done today though because I have makeup on so I thought I'll just go back another day maybe tomorrow also clean my apartment I haven't cleaned my apartment in the last two weeks um, I need to change my bed linen well not need to I want to because I haven't changed it in a while so hopefully I'll get that done before I leave Adelaide if not like it's not a big deal I'll do it when I get back but it would be nice if I get it done you know before I go so when I get back I have fresh linen but anyways, I also need to pack for my Adelaide trip. I haven't done that. I also need to try and buy a birthday gift for my dad tomorrow because it's late night shopping. Um, I also need to buy heels for Anita's wedding and I need to return show pro order. But I've actually done that. So let's cross out, get nails done and return show po order all right let's open up this show po order which is what i'm gonna be wearing hopefully for any of this wedding i actually don't know if i will like this dress on me so fingers crossed i do because i don't have a lot of time to shop around Ooh, I like the color it definitely matches my nails all right let me quickly try it on and I will show you afterwards I'll be back all right guys I'm just gonna cover this because it shows too much but I absolutely love the dress but there is a but it shows too much here and it's just a little bit too small I called Shopo to see if I could drop this off and pick up a bigger size because their warehouse is like 15 minutes away from my house but they said that they can't do that because of like the process that they have to follow it's just very very annoying it just shows a bit too much here I'm not used to it I'm so sad it looks so good like I actually really love it <sighs> man dang it I just changed back to my normal clothes I was gonna start cleaning the apartment just to tick off stuff on my list but I'm really hungry and Carl just arrived he's closing his eyes right now yeah there's something going on with his eye he can't really open it for too long but yeah I'm really hungry so we're thinking of going to have an early dinner first the only thing I've had today is cereal that's it <laughs> I didn't have lunch so I'm really hungry so can we go please <laughs> yum we're at Papa Ridge I am so full now and so is this guy <laughs> so now we're gonna make our way to Kmart we can't stay there for too long because I need to clean the apartment yeah yep he's keen about it obviously because <laughs> I usually stay there for a long time thank you Welcome. 
hey guys so it is now 7 57 and i am back home as you can see we really didn't spend a lot of time at kmart we just went in there carl grabbed what he needed i had a quick look at the shoes in case they had like cute heels that i could wear to the wedding this weekend but they didn't have anything that i liked so i didn't buy anything which is good right now i am gonna put on a timer for an hour maybe to clean the apartment it's really not that bad but there's a lot of clutter let me give you a quick overview before we start cleaning i'll start in the lounge area because this is the neatest as you can see there's really not a lot of clutter but if you turn to the right there's a lot of things everywhere and it's just oh it affects my mood all that stuff all here there everywhere this side it's just oh too much and the kitchen as well to be honest it's really not that bad but the toaster should go back up there and yeah i just need to wipe the bench one last thing i wanted to show you these bowls that i bought from kmart not tonight i bought this two nights ago this is really really cheap i think it was 850 for four and the patterns are so freaking cute so i could not let it pass i had to get it and also bought this little canister i think that's what it's called I'm gonna put my coffee pods in here and <clears throat> sorry and put it yeah right next to my coffee machine and then I just bought another one of this I don't know what it's called because the one that I have right now I used it as a vase or a vase how do you say it I say vase anyways that is all let us put on a timer and get to cleaning now the next day it's around 7 45 and i am actually in a very good mood and that's probably because i woke up to a clean apartment i was able to finish everything last night and i'm so happy because now i can tick it off my list and i don't have to worry about cleaning when i get back from my trip excuse my hair by the way i still need to do it but before i start work i need to pack up the dishwasher and make myself some coffee Just sitting in front of my work laptop logging on on everything so I can get started with work but I've got my coffee here my agenda for work today is I have a couple of clients to see both at different times which is very annoying I've got a big gap in between but anyway what do you do my last client is at 3 45 to 4 45 and she lives really close to Westfield Parramatta so I am gonna go there as soon as I finish with her and try to find a dress to wear this weekend the blue dress is really not the go so i need to find another one so yeah i'm gonna get on with work and i will see you guys later on today hey guys i am so tired but it is now five o'clock i just arrived at the westfield literally parked like two minutes ago but yes i have until tonight to finish 
left to find a dress someone just looked at me sorry that's why like I lost my train of thought anyways I have until tonight to find a dress to wear for this weekend and I'm crossing my fingers that I find one straight away because I really do not feel like walking around my foot is a little bit sore I sprained it like two three weeks ago and it hasn't fully healed yet it's still very swollen but I can walk on it without any pain now but I just it starts hurting if I walk for too long or stand for too long which I have been because I've been with a client but anyways enough of me talking let me go in now Carl is actually gonna meet me later today he's just on his way home now from work he's gonna get changed and then yeah we're probably gonna have dinner here together but anyways people are walking past me I'm getting awkward okay I will see you later bye It is now Friday and it's currently 7.18. I woke up at 6.30, had a shower and I've started like putting clothes away to pack to bring to Adelaide. I don't really need a lot of clothes because I'm only going to be there for the weekend. I only really need to pack casual clothes for Sunday because Saturday there's the wedding and I'm going to be wearing that dress that I bought last night the whole day I'm pretty sure but speaking of last night I did find a dress but it was a very stressful event I think I got home around 9 30 10 I was exhausted my feet were so sore especially in my left one where I sprained it this was the worst oh my goodness it was like the worst event of my life that sounds so dramatic but it was honestly so bad thankfully i found one at the last shop that i went to anyways let me take you to my room and show you what i have put away with like the clothes that i'm gonna bring so this is it basically i've just got a pair of pants here a top and a dress my pajamas and then like um, a little bike short kind of thing to wear under my dress and yeah my undies socks and then my makeup everything is here my perfume and I just need to pack like deodorant charges and stuff like that I also have 23 kilos check-in but I didn't pay extra for it or anything it just came with my virgin booking which is good because I actually need to bring a few Christmas presents I didn't get to spend Christmas with my family because of COVID I couldn't go back to Adelaide so I am gonna bring all the presents I have all the Christmas presents in the luggage now I'm just gonna quickly show you as well all the presents are here I'm just gonna put it on this side and then my clothes here but yeah everything for my mom my dad and my brother are all in here so that'll be really fun to you know give away <laughs> the dress that I bought last night is in here how freaking cool is this bag wow I've never actually shopped at this brand before but yeah I think they're really expensive but anyways before I pack all the clothes into the luggage let us just cross off some things on my list so we've cleaned the apartment I haven't changed the bed linen I honestly don't think I'll do that before I go so I'll just do that when I get back try to buy a birthday present for dad I didn't get to buy anything because I was stressed last night trying to find a dress so I'm just gonna cross that out final last dress for Anita's wedding I've done that for dad's birthday by the way Kenneth is able to find something so don't you worry I've got a present for dad by low heels I've done that as well so really all I need to do is finalize my luggage because I really don't think I'm going to be changing my bed linen before I go so just gonna cross it out oh and my brows done I did not see that I'll do that after work today yay crossing things off the list
almost finished. I just need to pack my laptop and charges and all that stuff. I'm going to pack my laptop and my charges later on. But it is now 7.44. I am going to make myself some coffee and check in. Hello guys, it is a lot later now. It's around 5.15. I went to get my eyebrows done straight away after work. I also got my sideburns waxed. And oh my goodness, they feel so soft. I usually just shave my sideburns, but today I thought I would try waxing it and definitely gonna continue waxing them because they look so much better, they're smoother, and I'm happy with my choice of getting it done today. But yes, that's ticked off the list and I've finished packing as well. Here is my luggage and also my carry-on is all done. I just have my laptop here, my iPad and just a jumper just in case it gets cold in the plane. And the moment we've all been waiting for, oh my goodness. Yay! I'm so happy. Wow. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend now. He is on his way. As soon as he gets here, we're gonna drive straight to the airport because my flight is at 6.25. We don't have a lot of time. Hopefully there's no traffic on the way to the airport. I'm going to end the vlog here as well. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me and for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to help me out. And I will see you on my next vlog. Bye guys, have a good day or night whenever you're watching this, bye.